So, uh, when you've installed the wind turbine on the end of the mast, I'll be installing the Easter Breeze there uh, in the next few days. Uh, what are you going to do all, with all that power that we generate? Well, uh, the, you can see I've got a, a three core cable, it's six millimeter, so that should be good enough uh, for a 24 volt uh, max two, two kilowatt. Probably just pushing it, but I don't think we'll get to two kilowatt anyway. Um, and then I've got a small receiving station uh, in here where all the electrical equipment is contained, uh, just uh, from weather protection. Uh, these are just cheap units off Amazon. This is a, a hybrid system I've got here. So I'm currently just uh, operating uh, these three solar panels here, uh, just to keep the, the battery topped up uh, whilst I get the wind turbine up and running. Uh, so just to cover off the solar, DC, DC isolator, DC isolator into a Victron smart charge controller. These are great bits of kit, very efficient, very good data that you can get on Wi-Fi. Uh, manage, uh, manage and, and, and uh, review it remotely. Uh, then through a Victron Smart Shunt, which is the battery monitor. This is going to monitor the battery performance, make sure that uh, we're, we're not out of specification on that, and also we'll measure power uh, and, and uh, uh, what's happening into the battery. Um, the battery itself, it's just a, a relatively cheap 25.6 uh, 100 amp hours LifePo. And then uh, through, from a safety point of view, back through uh, the battery uh, uh, isolator. I mean, it's a trip, but it's it, you know, obviously you can isolate the battery as well. To a Victron inverter. And obviously that will provide me the 240 volt. It's not connected up to anything apart from the weather station uh, uh, system to be able to uh, monitor that remotely on Wi-Fi. Uh, but eventually I'll, I will uh, connect something up here uh, to, to uh, use the power. So that's that's sort of the general setup for the solar, uh, but for the wind, wind is coming in through here. This is your uh, your, your three core uh, going into uh, a Missouri uh, brake spin run uh, switch system. Pretty good, uh, very very robust piece of equipment from uh, from from them. Then just through an isolator, so I can isolate that if I need to. From the isolator, I'm using one of these Chinese made, uh, it's actually wind and solar. I could have connected the solar up here, but uh, I, I don't trust them as, mu as much as the Victron. So I'm just using this for wind, uh, but uh, it's not been fully set up yet. So I, I haven't gone into the settings and set this up, but that's, that will be the, uh, the charge controller for the wind. Then again, the uh, Victron um, battery monitor, just so that we can we can see the uh, the power being generated uh, from from the wind, and we can we can record that battery inverter as before. Um, I am monitoring everything with the Serbo GX Victron system, so this is what's giving me the all the data from what's going on here, uh, and sending that out Wi-Fi to uh, to an access point I've got a bit further away. Um, the only other thing to mention from the wind is obviously you have got the heat dump, so at the out of the top of here if you ever manage to get uh, more uh, power being generated than the battery needs or your system needs uh, it would dump it through here I i've had one of these on another wind turbine uh, for about four years and i've never felt it go warm but i'm sure one day we'll generate enough to uh, to, to, to test that out uh, but that's the uh, setup for wind and uh, we'll now move on to fitting the turbine <laughs> 